Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. The Lord bless you, my dear viewer. It's really exciting to meet you here this morning. We bless the Lord for making it possible. And many thanks for tuning in to this program. We thank God for you. The Lord bless you. Allow me this morning to share a thought with you that I've titled, Stop Crying and Trigger Faith. Stop Crying and Trigger Faith. Faith is supposed to be triggered. When we trigger faith... We, we evoke God's power to come at work. My dear friends, allow me to read from the book of Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. This is what the Bible and the word of God says. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. The word of God rarely, rarely does the word of God talk about things being impossible. We know the Bible as a book that is full of faith and wonders. But rarely does the word of God talk about things being impossible. Except for this one event that is generated by faithlessness. It's only when faithlessness is mentioned that things become impossible. And so what do we mean by impossibility? What do we mean by things being impossible? Being impossible means things, it means that it's unattainable. It means that it's unachievable. It is unthinkable. It means that the, 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 the question is, that thing is just out of question. And so when the Bible says that without faith, it is impossible. It means that when you don't have faith, when, you're not exp- when, when you, you come to that place of not exhibiting faith, then things are just unattainable. There's nothing that you can attract from God. When you exhibit faithlessness, things go from good to worse. They become unachievable. When you exhibit faithlessness, then the question is just out of bound completely. And so the word of God says that without faith, it is impossible to please him. It is completely out of question. You cannot please God without faith. God does not respond to cry. He does not respond to cries and complain. And here in Kenya, we we are good at crying. When there is drought, we are good crying at the government. It's idea, it's idea. We are good at crying. But let me assure you this one. Let me, let me, let me just tell you first on that even that crying, without faith, God cannot be moved. If your cry does not come from faith, God cannot be moved. God cannot be moved by complaining. We cannot complain and hope that we are going to to touch God's head. We cannot complain about issues and hope that we are going to move or please God. Faith is the switch that turns on God's power. Faith is the key that unlocks the doors of impossibilities. Faith, faith it doesn't matter the size of the door. It doesn't matter the size of the door. If you have the right key, the size of the door doesn't matter. You will gain your access. And faith is that key. It doesn't matter the size of impossibility, the size of circumstances. They don't matter. What matters is whether you have the right key. And when you have faith, you have the right key. My dear friend, I want you today, as you're moving on, going on into your job to trigger faith. Instead of complaining, instead of crying, you have to stop that and trigger faith. You are asking, how can I trigger faith? The word of God says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And it it doesn't just stop there at hearing. It moves to another level of faith with action. Faith with action. You have to act upon what you have heard. 
If God says that you are healed, you have to act as you are healed. That is faith. If God says that you are out, you, you are lifted that weight, that burden out of you, you have to exhibit faith by acting like you, you believe the word of God. And now that is the, that's putting faith into action. And as you do that, Jesus said in the book of Mark chapter 9 verse 23 that if you can only believe all things are possible to him who believes. All things, not just a few, all things are possible to those who believe. Now look at the difference here. People who don't exhibit faith, things are impossible for them. But those people who exhibit faith, things are possible. And not just a few things. Everything, everything is possible for that person who exhibit faith. My brother and sister, you stand a better chance with God when you are a person of faith. You stand a better chance of seeing God's power in your life when you are a person of faith. I want to bring this to a close and pray that God will help us to walk in faith so that we can see his power at work. Father, we thank you again for an opportunity, Lord, to share your thoughts, these thoughts with your people, Lord. I pray that, Lord, faith will be generated in us. That, Lord, we will not be talking about impossible case. We will be talking about possibility. The Bible, the word of God has said that with faith, everything is possible. Lord, would you do it for my brother? Would you do it for my sister? As they are going out, Lord, they are going to respond to your word and faith is going to open the impossible doors in their door, in, on, on their way. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory that this is the day that you've made. Would you shine? Let them see you as they walk in faith. We give you praise for we pray by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldora TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldora. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldora. And our website is eldora.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.